Falling in high sec can be very dangerous. Gengars exist and many new players simply undock using a tier 1 hauler to haul all they hold dear. And normally that results in a very sudden death due to maybe a single catalyst on a gate. But that is absolutely avoidable. And there's one easy and strong high sec hauler you can use that is reasonably cheap and the perfect alternative to death. If you want to find out what that ship is and how to fit it, you want to go and watch this video as you will get right into it. But playing alone in EVE is boring. So if you want to explore an old sec, take part in PvP and just be part of a great community. Come and join our Discord and fight under the banner of our supreme leader, me. So come and join Suspect today, link is in the description. Anyway, on with the video. Hey guys, it's me again, i41. Today I'm here for a quick video to teach you how you can hold your item safely using the Sinesis. The Sinesis is technically not a hauling ship, but a destroyer. And at that, the most versatile destroyer. Needing no skills whatsoever, you can straight up buy one and just go ahead and use it. But we're looking at it because it has a very large base cargo hold, as well as an absolutely insane align speed, meaning you can get into warp effectively immediately after hitting the button. It kinda is what we want, not the slow space trucks that need an eternity to get into warp. This is a very fast ship. It is safe because if they can't lock you, they can't kill you. As always, you can find the fitting in the video description. We have fitted two cargo hold expanders for more cargo hold, two inertial stabilizers to get into warp faster and a decent amount of shield tank to keep you alive. But we also have three hyperspatial rigs to give you an insane warp speed of 7.06 AU per second. That is one of the highest warp speeds in the game and is only beaten by very few ship or other ships with hyperspatial rigs. This means you can travel across high sec almost instantaneously. I mean, sure, the cargo hold is not the biggest at, at almost 1000 cubic meters, but if you really wanted to, you could refit it completely for cargo hold but it does make it take longer to get into warp and slower at warping. But you can refit it, this is no issue at all. And even then, it will be incredibly fast at getting into warp. Still, make sure that you do not autopilot and do not use the ship to travel straight through Nodesec. You're not immune to warp disruption bubbles. Also be in Lowsec completely aware of smart bombing battleships. You can avoid all of those, but to learn there about that, go check the video that is linked in the top right right now. But. It is not necessarily cheap at roughly 30 million isk, but it is a safe and effective hauler. And this is the central point. It will get your stuff from A to B without having an aneurysm because you just saw 10 catalysts on a gate. So get yourself one of those in your local trade hub of choice and move your stuff safely and don't die. Anyway, this is all from me and I hope to see you guys next time.